no battle then the Dane would ever follow this lump of lords into battle. I don't care how many shields he brings me. You mean to say you refuse my gifts, Broder? I don't have time for this. It's a generous offering, brother. You'd be a fool to turn your back. Refuse this and your shame will stain the name of your sons and their sons beyond. Stay out of this, wolf kissed. Take the gift. We have bigger problems. One of Ruid's men. Aye. Sniffing around the outer walls, looking for an easy way to slip a few dozen men inside. If there's one scout, there will be more. Something you might have learned if you kept him alive. I was passing water when he surprised me. It was either him or my plow sword. Where did you find this one? Just outside the Northwich Walls, by the water's edge. They will be looking for points of entry to sneak a herd of raiders through. Jesus. Find another scout. We'll question him. I'll look around. The rest of you stay here and out of sight. If I find anyone suspicious, I'll bring him here. Ruid scouts would be camped near their boats outside the city walls. One of them will talk. Show me. <laughs> there. Looks like one of Bruid's men. You're awfully well armed for a pig farmer. Stay down, muckworm. I have some friends who'd like to speak with you. Put. I need your eyes, my friend. Let me go, Dane. You said you were a pig farmer just moments ago. It, uh, it's not beyond reason. I tend to many livestock. You are as Dane as I am. Save your breath, liar. send you to speak now and you may live to see tomorrow Argar swine I won't make you any friends here a scolding like that is a mortal offense boy I killed the bastard don't give him time to act again I'll ask once more why were you lurking around Norwich's walls I came to pay my respects, Lord, to Oswald, the whimpering Saxon ergy of East Anglia.
Tell him why you're here, and you may walk free with your head on your neck. Lick my dung hole. Here's the tongue I use for licking. How does it feel against your eyes? When the braziers lit at Dunwich, Ruid and his men will rally. They mean to attack Northwich by its weakest wall. <laughs> you English Danes are soft as butter now. Ruid sends his blessing, lady. He'll see you again very soon. He may still be of value to us if he... Any man who questions your courage and feels no shame, that's your answer. I will not have blood spilt needlessly in my kingdom. This has to end. Alive, this man was a risk. Valdis, this man spoke as if he knew you. Ruid was my husband. Your husband? You're married already. I was. We've been apart for five summers. I never expected to see him here. And I never wanted to. East Anglia's prosperity depends on our safety and unity. With Ruid's clan stomping around, neither is possible. I must speak with him myself, man to man. There's no place for him in East Anglia. He must hear it from me. Right. I'll start looking for a new king tomorrow. It was good to know you, Lord. Ruid will eat your lungs for supper, Oswald. Steer clear of him. If I'm to be a worthy king, I must meet the man who bedevils us. I'll light the braze here at Donich, and face him when he comes. You sure you want to do this? Meeting Ruid in the open comes with many risks. It's the only way. We must face him head on, and we cannot waver. Come, Oswald. We make for Dunwich. And of course I will see the lot of you there as well. Else the songs of your cowardice will ring out over the generations. I'm sure you're heading to Dunwich any moment. We'll be there, Eivor. You don't speak for us, Stuart. Need I remind you, Wax, what Half Down will do with us if East Anglia falls into Ruid's hands?
Eivor, you made it. It is time to light the brazier. I'll light it. You do the talking. Bruthir, Valdis, and I will scout the dock. Make sure there are no surprises. Oswald and I will hold here until the brazier is lit. The front gate is heavily guarded. You'll not be walking in. I'll find my own way. We'll be watching you back. Dunwich. Now to clear out Ruid's men and light that brazier. Thank you. Ah, it is much appreciated. No!
Aid me. Be my eyes. Be us at the sin and not about this land, my friend. That's the last of them. Once the brazier is lit, the rest of Ruid's men should arrive. Odin gives me a bargain. A few dead men at my feet in exchange for a ripe East Anglia, and my wife returned. What a day! You. I don't know you. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, the clan your men attacked before I fed them to the crows. <laughs> Who called for me? Was it you, Valdis, my love? Why would I call you now, after five happy years away from your stinking balls? I called you, Ruid. You, Oswald, the hopeful king of East Anglia. And Valdis's husband-to-be. Take your men and go. East Anglia is strong with Saxons and Danes united. It will not fall to raiders. Must I set sail for Denmark with nothing to show for the journey, after coming all this way? You'll have my weight in silver. And an abundance of livestock and grain. I've taken ten times that already. What's the real prize? I'll make you an offer, Pigfoot. A home gang, just you and me, for the future of your kingdom. I accept. I accept. A fight to the death. East Anglia's the prize. Let it be heard. The hazel is laid! The square is made. When you see a chance, lead Valdus and the brothers to safety. They must not fight today. East Anglia needs them. Let me be your champion. No. He called on me. Whenever you're ready, king of sheep shit! I'm ready! Saxon king is bent the knee. 
They're breaking off. They've given up for now. Let's put some distance between us. We can rest a moment. By Thor, he fought well. Raging like a bonfire. We should go back. Oswald may have survived. Ruid as well. It's possible. Ruid's men will press their advantage. We must be ready when they attack. We'll go to Norwich. Meet me there when you can. He died a hero. There's no doubt. If his god won't take him, all the sword women will. <laughs> 